Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yawashai, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yawashai, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yawashai. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yawashai, double honors to the apostles and the elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessing salutation to the Akims in the four corners of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity in truth, shallow one. You know, come in the next lesson to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children. You know, I was chatting with one of the brothers, you know, in Guyana, um, <laughs> you know, and he, he was talking about this concert. You see, he just came home and he was watch saw his grandmother watching this concert, which, which is hand in hand. So he asked me to check it up, you know, you know, and we saw. I went to check it up and you know I see a couple of video well so I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a video on this one Father willing I'm gonna touch on the next one you know it's a Beyonce speak Salaki Beyonce speech hand in hand hurricane benefit consort you know and let's play this video here I hear this demon saying you know because this she was set up by the elite Salaki she was set up by the elite to make this speech Right, we got this same this same demon gonna come with the same another speech about the microchip and saying it's okay to take the microchip and we all could be one people. But the most I the most I never create us to be a one people, the most I separate us. Right? So these demons trying to bring everybody together, the most I not dealing with that. The most I is a racist, right? And it's, it's me love and, and race go back to nation. Ra um, race is the root word. So the most I separate is nation. The most I only deal with the chain of Israel. And right about now you're dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. Two Torah people can be destroyed. Right? So let me run this video. I don't want to make it too long. You know? I'll just run this video to edify the church. Violence or racism in this country. Just when you think it couldn't possibly get worse, natural disasters take precious life, do massive damage, and forever change lives, leaving behind contaminated water, flooded hospitals, schools, and nursing homes. And countless families are now homeless. In my hometown city of Houston, people need food, clothing, cleaning supplies, blankets, shoes. Yeah, so lucky, right? This is actually this demon is this this is a demon, right? Before before Hurricane Harvey, before Hurricane Irma, our our, our people was always homeless, right? <clears throat> always homeless. Our people living in the, in, 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 in the worst place in the ghetto, right? Where this where this demon was doing for our people, yeah. Our water got flow right inside. You talking about contaminated water? Our water we drink today got flow right inside. Our air came trail. These tablets is is, is 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 these 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 um pharmaceutical drugs is the third leading killer in the world. These pills killing people. With well, this demons already speaking about. But like I say, she was set up by the Illuminati to do this. You know to deceive you simple. This is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai judgment. Because you people wicked. You people don't want to repent. I'm speaking to you, so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. We don't care about the other nations. Our people need to repent. This is this is judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of sorrow. This is just the beginning. Diapers and formula for babies, and of course, clean water. The elderly need wheelchairs, and kids need books and toys so they can continue to dream. Natural disasters don't discriminate. They don't see if you're an immigrant, black or white, Hispanic or Asian, Jewish or Muslim, wealthy or poor. It doesn't matter if you're from Third Ward or River Oaks. We're all in this together. <laughs> Everyone of different racial, social, and religious backgrounds put their own lives at risk to help each other survive, restored my faith in humanity. And we're continuing to see people uh, going in 
out with votes. Many of them are official, acting in their official capacity. Many of them are volunteers. True healing isn't helping. Please, give what you can. The effects of climate change are playing out around the world every day. Just this past week, we've seen devastation from the monsoon in India, an 8.1 earthquake in Mexico, and multiple catastrophic hurricanes. Alma alone has left a trail of death and destruction from the Caribbean to Florida to southern United States. We have to be prepared for what comes next. So tonight, we come together in a collective effort to raise our voices, to help our communities, to lift our spirits, and heal. Thank you. Yo, these people ain't prepared to welcome next because these people ain't taking heed. This is just the beginning of sorrow. Great death and destruction coming. Still got famine to come. The death of the dollar. Race war. Martial law. Make it become mandatory. America being destroyed by Thurman nuclear missile. The um, um, inter intercontinental ballistic missile, which is the ICBM missile. So, yo, great death and destruction coming to this place. I praise the Yahweh Hashem You know? And she she's she's speaking about come together. The most I not deal with everybody come together. The most I not deal with the most I is racist. The most I separate that. And we can go from the go to the scriptures. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most I divided the nations their in their, their inheritance, he said he separate the sons of Adam. He separate the most I the most I the most I separate his nation. The most I not deal with one. You must say not dealing with that. Why we among why we among the heathens today is because we transgress the Most High Law and the Most High scatter us among the heathens. But the Most High dealing with is the elect of the nation of Israel, the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third, which is, which the hundred and forty four thousand including the one third. The Most High dealing with dealing with is the elect. Is the elect the Most High can deliver, right? So the Most High separate us, right? He said, when the Mosai divided the nation, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set bonds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So Jacob is our fourth father, our fourth father, Salaki. Right? The Mosai changed the name to Israel. Israel means Yasharala, he prince of the power. So you so can Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians are the Mosai people. The Mosai not dealing with these other nations. The most I give them the inheritance. And the most I choose Jacob to be his inheritance. The most I separate that. This bitch don't even know that. But the Illuminati set you up to do this. To have, to have this speech. Right? This is um and this same bitch. This same demon gonna come with the microchip speech too. And and deceive you simple to take the chip. This is uh Deuteronomy chapter 7. Verse 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, a holy, holy me separate. We separate from these other nation. Right? The Lord Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Not everybody come together. The most I not deal with Christianity and Muslim and, and all these madness. The most I deal with that. The most I deal with his people. And right about now, he dealing with the elect of his people. Right? He said, um, He said, Yeah. For thou art an holy people unto thy Lord Yahweh thy power. The Lord Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord Yahweh did not set his love upon you, so can Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian, nor choose you. Because you were more in numbers than any people, for he were f for he were the fewest of all people, right? So the most I not dealing with everybody come together. He not dealing with that, right? Um, this is Jeremiah. So all they say, right? Then, then these the seeing all this thing. Now these people not even repent. That's why the most I said pray not for these people. Okay, he never answer. That's why he said, "Don't pray, don't pray for, don't pray for two thirds of Israel because they're wicked, right?" This is Jeremiah chapter eight, verse twelve. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? They were, they were ashamed when they worship all these other idols. When Israel worshiping idols, eating abominable thing, were they ashamed 
when they're committing adultery, were they ashamed when the person is scoffing the, the, the scoffing on the the, 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 apost the apostles and the prophets on the on the street on the street corner and on this video coming on the comment board and scoffing and disrespecting the Mosai? You know, bucking up against the Mosai word, were they ashamed? Jeremiah 8 and 12. He said, Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they therefore shall they fall among them that fall. That's why they're gonna die in these plagues. And this is just the beginning, they're gonna die in these plagues. Right? He say, Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, said the Lord Yahweh. In the time of the visitation, they're gonna be cast down. Because more storm coming, earthquake coming, they got they got the collapse of the dollar bill coming. They got race war coming, they got famine coming, they got martial law coming, the microchip become mandatory, they got these, these great evils coming. Right? Verse 13. I will surely consume them, said the Lord Yahweh. How the Lord consume them right now? He's selling these plagues. He's selling these earthquake. Right? This is um This is uh, um Wisdom of Solomon. This one quick. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse um, 422. He said, And hailstone full of wrath shall be cast out as, as out of a stone bowl, and the water of the sea shall rage against them. This we see in the water, the water flood now the place. And the flood shall cruelly drown them. And this we see with this building getting drunk. Right? 423. Yea, a mighty wind armor. Hurricane or V shall stand up against them and like a storm shall blow them away. And we see this building, we see on the Bermuda and these and these islands and these different islands. We see what's going on. You been blowing them away. There's judgment. There's Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai judgment. Yahweh Yahweh Shapat. Right? He say, um Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealing shall overthrow the throne of the mighty. Right, and there's a lot of wickedness going on in this place. And like I said, it's just the beginning of sorrow. Right? He said this is um second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. He said the beginning of sorrow and great mourning. And this is we see right now, the mourning, right? The beginning of famine and great debt. We ain't sad to see death yet. They got great debt coming. This is a year of debt and death, diligence, and destruction. Right? The most I can bring great great judgment to this wicked world right he said the beginning of sorrow and great mourning the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evil what shall i do when this evil shall come we gotta do is repent and not come together as everybody's one you gotta repent you so can negroes latin native american you gotta repent Turn away from this society, this wickedness. Stop trying to stop trying to join with these heathen. That's why the most I can destroy you to third because you want to join with the heathens. Repent and turn back to your true power. Turn back to your true heritage. Right? Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as a scourge for a man, for a man meant. A man meant. Right? You check up this word amendment. Right? These things this thing were sent for amendment, right? So we check up the word amendment and see what it means, right? You jakes need to get, you jakes need to take heed and repent, right? The word amendment, right? He say an, al an alter alteration of charge, so like of change, an alteration or a change for the better correction of a fault or a false reformation of life by quitting vice and vice means something like a bad habit and this you just gotta do you just gotta repent and turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right don't listen to this don't listen to this demon you know repent and turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right back in 2nd Ezra chapter 16 right verse 19 behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as sent as a scourge for amend amendment so you can correct yourself you can take heed yo 
something you're not doing right to correct yourself right verse 20 but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness and it show it clear with this, this this demon talking about come together it's time to repent most are about to bring great evil in this place this is most i said but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourge so they ain't mind they ain't, they ain't mindful about hurricane harvey they planning to raise fund to build back these people planning these people got um hand in hand hurricane benefit consort to build back they ain't mindful of the scourge to amend to amend to amend to amendment they know to change the way to repent and talk about they're mindful of that that's why the most i can destroy them with, without remedy right back in jeremiah chapter 8 verse 13 i will surely consume them said the lord yahweh with the plagues you can consume them right um then he said there shall be no grapes on the vine nor fig on the fig tree and the leaves shall fade and the tight and the and the things that that i have given them shall pass away right things that the most i shall give me shall pass away verse 14 why do we sit still assemble yourself and let us enter into the defense city and let us be silent right there for the lord yahweh our power had put us to silent this is the most high judgment he said and give us water of gall this water of gall means bitterness that means it'll be hard time like slavery hard times to drink because we have sinned it against the lord yahweh by hashem yahweh that's why we gotta repent right verse 15 we look for we look for peace but no good came and for a time of heal and behold trouble right so they're looking for peace looking to come together forget peace they're not gonna they're not come together as a one not gonna stop the destruction of babylon not gonna stop judgment if you come together we you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got to do is to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Come together with all the heathen nation, not going to stop the judgment. You people need to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This world going to heal you. This world, this world going to free you. John 17 17. Thy word is truth. John 8 30, John 8 32. Right? This word is what this this word is what gonna heal you. This word is what gonna free you. Right? So you you jakes need to repent and turn back. These 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 hurricane is a scourge. It's a scourge for a man for amendment. To check yourself, it's a correction. Check yourself. Right? And with that, was are defiant, wanna give our praises and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honest to the apostles and the elders who rule by a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four county yard to push in the gospel and sincerity. Shalom.